Hey y'all. Um, okay, so I'm fixing to put a few little video clips together of our last two days with Bird and as soon as we got back into the States. And um, I'm sitting in my truck right now. We're at a friend's house after church. And uh, I love my church family. They're amazing. And uh, I don't know how we could do any of this without them. They are just, yeah, they're, 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 more, they're more family um, than anything else. They are fantastic. And, uh, and God has put some amazing people in our lives. And um, we've built some amazing friendships at this church that we're at. We've been here for almost three years. And um, the hardest part about leaving the States is leaving our church family. But anyway, our kids are out there playing with their kids right now. Um, but I want to put a few video clips together of our last two days in Mexico with Bird. And then we got back to the States. Um, I, I think there's some confusion because a lot of people thought we had already actually moved there. Um, so when Bird got arrested, he was just taken away. We didn't get to say goodbye. He didn't get to take any of his stuff. He didn't even have his ID. He had just the clothes that he was wearing when we got arrested. Um, so he needed his stuff. And because it's just me and three girls... Um, we could really only take, we could really only manage four suitcases and four backpacks. So we thought it'd be better to go ahead and take as much of Bird's stuff as possible. Um, and just to hurry up and see him because it'd been three months. There were no goodbyes. There was no preparation. We just had to see him so bad. And I'm so thankful for the two weeks that we had with him. Um, we will be moving down there, but there's some preparation that I have to do here first. We have to sell our house um, and use the money that we sell the house for to pay off the house. And then hopefully we'll have some left over that we can take to Mexico and hopefully buy a vehicle and get started on our own house. We want to buy a little piece of land. Um, the house, the, the one that I'm looking at, it's a little corner lot and it's got a huge avocado tree. It's awesome. And they just built this tiny little house on it. It's like a one bedroom house, but we can build onto it. And it's right across the street from my mother-in-law. So, um, I've got a fantastic mother-in-law, so I would actually really like that. And, um, so anyway, we've got some preparation to do here. I've got some, I got some work to do to get caught up on things, um, to pay back. I got a lot of donations and I also had a lot of people, um, uh, loan me money. I had one amazing friend in particular who let me borrow his credit card, but that has to be paid back. So I have some preparation work to do here. I need to go spend some time with my sister who lives in Branson, um, kind of far from us. So, uh, anyway, we will be moving to Mexico eventually, hopefully within the next couple of months, but for now, sorry about that. Um, I keep deleting videos and pictures that I don't need. Um, it keeps telling me my storage is full. I don't know. I need to just get a new memory card and just put everything that I have on a disc. But anyway, um, we will be moving to Mexico. Um, it's going to take a couple of months for us to get everything prepared. Um, anyway, I want to show you the last couple of days that we were there. I've got a lot of video footage from the time that we were down there. I just need to put it together and, and show y'all. So it's not ever get, everything's not going to be in order. I'm putting it in order of the most important of what I believe. I believe the reunion when we first saw him was very important. Um, the birthday party was very important, and then the last two days that we were with him, I believe, is very important. So, uh, I do have some footage from Mexico that I will eventually be putting in videos, and I will be answering a lot of questions. I've got so many questions. Y'all are amazing, and the comments, and y'all are just amazing people. But, um, anyway, leaving him, leaving him was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. And, uh, I know I'll see him again. I know we'll go back down and I'm almost out of space again, so I'm going to... I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind. This is our beach day. You do a lesson playing in the sand. America's sitting out there. It is so incredibly windy, we're not allowed to go very deep. We are all completely covered in sand. We can't go very deep to wash it off and the showers here are broken because of the hurricane they had two days ago. So yay beach day. It's alright the girls are still having fun even though we all have our butts full of sand. <laughs> There's Bird. He's just talking. He made a friend. He makes a friend everywhere.
Hey, where where'd Juju go? There you are. Hey, not in the ears or in the eyes. Yes, sir. There you go. There's AJ and Jennifer. This is American and Ines and Juliana. Okay, it started. So there's Bird, Bird wave at everybody. And there's America, there's Vanessa in the middle, and there's little Juju. They just put her head under the blanket. <laughs> okay, so my girls are very loud and uh, they have no problem being on video. Bird's a little shy and doesn't really like being on video. I do. There's my child. Smile, let's see your tooth. Well, the lack thereof. <laughs> she lost her front tooth. Daddy, Daddy, I want to show you all the thing that Daddy tells me. Okay, ready, Daddy? Say it. Show me your window. Show me your tongue. He says, show me your window. And she sticks her tongue through the hole that where her tooth used to be. <laughs> after, after three months, this is my... My my reward. Your reward? My big reward, my medium reward, my little reward. <laughs> so I have amazing days with them. Where the rewards? And I thank God that they're in my life. Because and I thank Jesus too. Because he's in my heart. And I thank to you, Jennifer, that you're in my way. I love you, baby. And I thank God for who you are in my life for for me to change and be different. Even I still have some long ways to go to be a stepdad and a, a dad for, for my kiddos. That's what I know. I love you. So, <clears throat> tonight, this is the night of the 28th. Tomorrow morning, we are going to the airport. <clears throat> and me and the girls have to go back to the States. And Bird's birthday is on Halloween, which I probably won't even get this video up until... Friday night or Saturday, uh, just because the Wi-Fi here sucks, but and I don't have a lot of time. Plus, I broke my phone. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we're leaving two days before Bird's birthday, and that sucks. Girls, what'd y'all think about Mexico these two weeks? Perfect. I like it. It's a real life changer. Yeah. Yep. Real life changer. Did you like the mosquitoes? Oh, the that, mosquitoes yeah, no. America's obviously incredibly delicious because the mosquitoes <laughs> ate no, no. her up, like, no. golly, it looks like she's got the measles oh, or something, she's so covered in chicken, ball. I mean, in uh, mosquito bites, it's awful how <laughs> many she has. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that was a abuela's house. Girls, what'd y'all think about being in here with Bird for two, for two whole weeks? Great, but it only feels like four minutes. It does. Yeah. Um, so the the memory size on my phone is... Okay, sorry. I ran out of space on my phone. I need a new memory card. Um, oh. I had to go delete an old video. Uh, anyway, so... All right, do y'all have anything else you want to say? Nope. Well, hold on. I'm glad that we're going to go see our church friends who might be watching this. Hi. We're gonna we're gonna miss you when we move up here. What do y'all think about living in Mexico? How do y'all think it's gonna be? It's great. To be honest, right now I'm a little scared. Yeah. But I I know I'll grow into it. It's pretty different down here, huh? But I know that I'm and that and that as soon as we can we are going to visit America, our friends and family. Yeah. Hey, leaving our state. Look under there. Suck. She's, she's trying to get him to say underwear. The, under, <laughs> the underwear joke. <laughs> Leaving our church family is probably is right the right absolute right. hardest thing about moving down here. Oh, so. Oh, and I'm also gonna do it to my friend. You're gonna do what? You're gonna do the drug tour from Maisie. Oh. And I'll say EJ, Lexi. They'll be watching this. <laughs> so they know. All right.
Y'all tell everybody good night and say be blessed. Good night, be, be blessed. blessed. Good night. Good night, Malachi. <laughs> you see this, Malachi? I miss you, big boy. <laughs> I'm going this is probably one of the hardest things we've ever done. We don't want to leave. The kids are fascinated. That's our actual plane. They're trying to see our, our luggage. It's so cold here. We've been in the tropics for two weeks. And now it's so nasty and cold here. We got a little taste of it getting off the plane. Not looking forward to the cold weather. Not at all. I am. There's this one weirdo here. She's looking forward to it. Hey, I love cold weather. I hate cold weather. Alright, so we're back. Back home. And Grandma is treating us a welcome home supper with, with good old American cheeseburgers. <laughs> MG burgers. Hey, if y'all are ever in Sherman... Sherman, Texas. Y'all need to come to MG's. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good stuff. Excellent burgers. Yep. Excellent here. A napkin? Oh, for your gum. We'll, we'll get you a napkin. Anyway, we're home and safe. Uh, we're we live just right across the the border um, between Texas and Oklahoma. So we're in North Texas right now. We'll be home within 30 minutes after we're finished eating. So, girls, y'all say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs>